Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here coming at you today. We're going to talk about the World Cup 2022, which kicks off later this year. And I know I'm getting excited about it. I, I wasn't really sure if I would because this World Cup is going to come in the middle of the European soccer season, at least the European major leagues uh, of the soccer season. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be really amped up for this, but I'm getting more and more excited as the World Cup 2022 gets about to kick off. And so we've recently pre previewed the World Cup here on Z Code System, and we're going to talk about that today, talk about the teams and the latest odds as we get ready for the kickoff in Qatar. Now, this is one of the uh, most controversial World Cups due to it being awarded to Qatar back in 2010, and really the country being uh, far from a, a country you would have expected to have a World Cup awarded to it, and it's uh, obviously, the, the controversies have been all over the media, but now the tournament is about to kick off with uh, 32 teams uh, descending on the the small Middle Eastern country. And if you're planning on going, well, I hope you have a ticket to those games because it's going to be restricted. The people who are able to, to arrive and to watch the games, and part of that reason is due to the lack of accommodation uh, available to them in the the country of Qatar. So we're going to be talking about this as it gets near coming up in November and December. And uh, we're going to take a look at those odds. But before we do that, guys, don't forget to sign up to Z Code System today so you get all the latest tools to make great educated sports picks on whatever sport it is that you like to invest in. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people, whether you are a soccer fan or not, who are going to want to take a punt on the World Cup. And we're going to look at the outright betters odds coming up for the World Cup. But again, it kicks off coming up this November. All right, let's take a look at those betting odds for the World Cup. All right, guys, so as always, I'm using Bet365 because that is my favorite online sports book. It's the one I use the most, so I'm using the odds from there right now. And as you can see there, we've got Brazil as the bookies favorite to win the World Cup at plus 450. And we've got England coming in at plus 550. France, the reigning World Cup winners, at plus 600. Now, let's go over a little bit of information here on things. The World Cup is going to be kicking off in mid-November. So in Qatar, due to the weather, uh, the tournament was moved to a winter time period in the Northern Hemisphere. Due to the weather uh, in Qatar being you know, hot and, and sunny, and now it's all, it is going to be hot uh, in Qatar still, it's going to be warm. Uh, I believe it's seven of the eight stadiums have air conditioning uh, built into them to to keep fans and players cool. And uh, this is going to probably play a factor, the, the weather and the timing of the tournament. We've already seen um, this timing play a factor in the current football transfer market in Europe. Uh, uh, players wanting to find teams in which they are going to get lots of playing time in the buildup so they don't miss out on the World Cup or so they're in great form for the World Cup. So that is going to play a part as we get ready for the major leagues in Europe to kick off in August. Uh, the seasons are going to kick off earlier uh, than normal. Uh, the Premier League especially uh, is kicking off, I think, it's, uh, August the 6th. They're going to be kicking off uh, the season in England uh, with the Premier League. So as teams prepare for the World Cup and then they take a six-week break, a lot of the major leagues, including the Premier League, will take a six-week break uh, in November to the end of, middle of November to the end of December uh, for the World Cup to be played. So be ready for that. But as you can see there, we've got the outright winner odds. And I just wanted to highlight Brazil there because there's going to be a lot of punters backing Brazil. They've got the likes of Neymar and Richarlson uh, in that team, uh, Adirson and Allison, uh, both goalkeepers who will be fighting for the number one shirt. Brazil often go into a World Cup as favorites. There's an aura around Brazil uh, when it comes to the World Cups. Of course, they've won the most World Cups of any team, and, and people think, oh, Brazilian style, the Samba style. They are they are going to to lift that World Cup trophy, but keep in mind Brazil have not won the World Cup since 2002. They won it in South Korea and Japan, uh, which was one of the um, I don't know. Some would say the worst World Cups in recent memory, and it was a World Cup that took place incredibly early. And one of those reasons was because of the weather in uh, Japan and Korea. They wanted to miss 
the the I guess the wet season, the tsunami season uh, in those two countries. So the World Cup was pushed forward. It, it was, I believe it was uh, played throughout the month of June rather than uh, in June and July that year. And we saw Brazil win that World Cup. Well, again, we're going to see an alteration in the calendar for the the World Cup this year. So I think the the adjustment in the calendar for the World Cup is going to play a role in what happens in Qatar. But with that said, I don't think Brazil are going to win this tournament because Brazil are an overhyped team from year to year. Yes, they have some very good players, but I don't see Brazil winning this. And there's always a uh, uh, the idea, I guess you could say that you don't sign Brazilian players uh, based on a World Cup because they don't perform for your club team. So uh, in the same way, I don't bet on Brazil to win the World Cup. I think they're overhyped. Now, France are the reigning World Cup winners. They won it in Russia in 2018. Uh, They've just won the UEFA uh, Euro uh, Nations League, I should say, the Nations League, which was played uh, last year in 2021. And so I think they're a strong team here. England, yes, uh, having uh, some good results over the last couple of years, but uh, I'm a little bit worried about this England team right now. They're they're not in the best of form. And if I have to give you right now off the top of my head uh, a team who is a dark horse uh, looking at these, uh, I'm liking both Spain and the Netherlands right now. I think both of those teams could uh, do some do some damage in the tournament, and I think uh, both could go very far uh, in the World Cup coming up. But we're going to see the World Cup kicking off shortly. Now, if you go over to zcodesystem.com backslash blog, you can read everything I wrote there about the tournament, uh, find out a little bit more about all the 32 teams that will be competing. And as you can see there, the tournament will be kicking off Monday, November 21st. So it's going to be a fantastic time in November and December. A bit of an early Christmas present, or if you're in America, it's going to be uh, something to watch around Thanksgiving. Uh, So it'll be lovely, lovely to watch. And this time around, we're going to see a few more games played early on. Um, the first game of the tournament is going to be Senegal and Netherlands, and then Qatar, the host team, will be taking on Ecuador after that. So um, we're going to see a, a lot of good games coming up in that first day. And the final will be played December the 18th, 2022, and a third-place game will be played the day before on the 17th. And then once we get past that, uh, a week or so later, just after Christmas, we're going to see the leagues, such as the Premier League, return to action. Uh, it's going to be a jam-packed autumn and a winter of, of soccer. And so if you are a football slash soccer better, then you are going to love this upcoming time period because there's going to be wall-to-wall games. And to be honest, right now, we're already seeing a lot of games. We've got the Women's Euros, which has just kicked off, and we previewed that previously here on Z Code System. And uh, like I said before, the major leagues in Europe, the Premier League, Liga, and Serie A, German Bundesliga, as well as uh, La Liga, they're going to be kicking off extra early this year, along with the Champions League tournament, uh, all kicking off early this season because of this disruption caused by the World Cup. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me today. Just wanted to give you a little heads up on the World Cup coming up. And when the tournament comes, I'm going to be here previewing games. I'm going to be here giving you picks and odds. And we're going to probably do uh, some daily updates for you guys uh, doing some picks and some some different things with the Soccer Buddy tool. So stay tuned for that. Sign up to Z Code System now so you can get all the updates from all the tools that we have, Soccer Buddy, et cetera, and so forth. And I will see you soon here on Z Code System.